caviar, the imperial dish of Persian kings and Russian czars. Oh yeah, one mouthful of northern divine caviar and it's clear what all the fuss is about. Held in the highest culinary esteem, second to none, the salty bubbles bestow elegance and flair to anything. But when the world's sturgeon fish stock were nearly depleted, Justin Henry and the good people at Target Marine Hatcheries helped save the world nearly denied this delight. There's been a message for some time to not eat caviar because it's not sustainable anymore. We have caviar that is sustainable again. This gustatory miracle happens at a stunning 55-acre hatchery tucked into the Canadian coastline in Seashelt, British Columbia. On the grounds are large pools which house one of the world's largest safely farmed and sustainable stocks of sturgeon. A specifically Fraser River white sturgeon, a fish no one had ever farmed before target hatcheries tried to. Sturgeon are an ancient fish. They're really uh, prehistoric. They were here before the dinosaurs. That's right, dinosaurs. In the modern world, the largest source of sturgeon was the Caspian Sea. At one time, it was bordered only by Iran and the USSR. But when the USSR broke up into new countries, it triggered a fish fight which nearly depleted the sturgeon. This started the movement towards sustainable caviar. Target Marine Hatcheries jumped right in, but had to tread water for a long, long time. Nine years and 10 years went by and still nothing. Finally, at 11 years, we got our first handful of caviar. Wow, would you wait over a decade for anything? For caviar? Oh, yes. Well, wait no more. The process begins at the harvesting pool with Rob, who suits up and swims with a female sturgeon bigger than he is. It's a beautiful morning to go for a, a swim with a fish. It takes a skilled swimmer to minimize stress and danger. The sturgeon are mild-mannered, and Rob gently coaxes the pre-selected full-grown fish into a harness. A nice round belly, over 50 kilos, with eggs 3.4 millimeters, and the firmness of the eggs is really important. A quick biopsy confirms the eggs are at prime. This is good. And the fish is humanely killed and lifted out of the pool. It's put on ice for an hour. The ovaries are harvested and placed in a transfer bucket that's carried over to the UV-treated and insulated caviar room. The eggs are taken in by fish heads and sturgeon surgeons, Kelly on the left and Trevor on the right. Kelly places it onto a scale for the initial weigh-in, which in this case comes to just over five kilograms. As heavy as the average salmon, Stick around, these sticky eggs are about to be price projected. Occasionally, eggs are taken to be fertilized and hatched at the hatchery with fish mom, Wendy. Shh, the other babies are sleeping. It will take a decade for these baby fish to grow to full size. About 100,000 eggs are fertilized, of which 1,000 female sturgeon a year grow to maturation. They grow in a series of pools that are stream-fed with waters from the surrounding mountains, which mimics their natural habitat. Target Marine Hatchery filters and rejuvenates their water in a natural way using watercress. So I can have a salad with my appetizer. The company has been founded on the ideas of sustainability and organic production. And an organic way to filter out nitrate in the water is to grow watercress, which are a popular item snatched up by Vancouver area restaurants. Green points granted all over this place. Back in the caviar room, the fish eggs are separated from the ovaries. A bowl sits under a wide gap screen, and the ovaries are gently rubbed on the screen, which releases the eggs that fall into the bowl. The bowl of eggs is gently hand-washed of their remaining amniotic fluid in a washer. When the water turns from red to clear in the washer, the eggs are fin-ished. Get it? Iablini and creme fraiche ready. Yet, the black pearls are not yet caviar. Before you add salt, it's not caviar yet. The salt brings out these wonderful flavors from the egg. The salt used is Canadian mined salt ground to the finest powder. And if you think it's ready now, tuck away your bellinis and vodka shots. It takes many weeks for that salt to diffuse through the egg and just get those flavors developing. Yeah, but I've been waiting 12 years. 
I know, it's hard, but so worth it. The salted eggs are scooped into large tins, and the tin is pressed heavily. Weights are put on top to compress the eggs together without breaking them. They're refrigerated for up to several months, so we wait. <sighs> hey, want to know other cool stuff about caviar? Sure, we got time. The eggs from one sturgeon are never mixed with another. No kidding. And of course, the big news. What? The value of that bowl of caviar they just processed? This is approximately $12,000 worth of caviar. What? So don't spill it. If I promise, can I get a price break? No? No. To get it to market, the large tins are taken out. And Justin, as Sturgeon General, tests a $10 spoonful to make sure it tastes nutty buttery. The caviar is scooped into smaller tins, vacuum sealed, and labeled to be shipped direct to online customers. The smallest tin retails for $88 Canadian, but worth it. And that's why caviar is the food of kings and czars. Northern Divine Certified Organic Caviar. Now sustainable and available again. <laughs>